About 13 miles from downtown Atlanta, welcome to Truist Park. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, ready to go here. And on the hill in this one, Max Free. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Some people wonder if he was tipping his pitches last time out. He was getting hit all over the ballpark and being hit hard. Today, we look for him to make an adjustment and be on the attack side Maybe against these hitters. So just Diego. about set now. Here's the, the second, second baseman. baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Hey. That hey. one's in there. And this one is Four off and running. Four Next offering ball. down low and in the dirt. And a foul ball. The one two. Got him. And there's one away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Center fielder, number two. Trent Grisham. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it that in that part and get on the inside part of the plate hitter. as well. Fernando Tatis Jr. Two outs, base is empty, and the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. That hits the dirt. Ball one. one. No strike. Swing and a miss. One ball, one That's strike. strike one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Nope. Next one strike. off the plate inside. Now two balls and a strike. Rip towards third, zips it across, and they take care of Tatis for the out. Padres go down one, two, three. Bottom of the first, and starting in this one, Joe Musgrove. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure. He's oh, more man. calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners and score. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. That Joe that. Rios. Look, next up for the Braves. Joe Rios. In the air, left field. Profar moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. Out number two. 
just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming that open instead of staying closed. Right if he does that, Bravo. he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Ronald Acuna Jr. swings through one there. And a pitch. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. His 39th home run of the season. And the Braves have the lead now. It's 1-0. That slider on the outside part of the plate is typically hit the other way. But to be able to get to it, pull the baseball, and get it up in the air for a home run, I'm just really impressed. Not Here is no, Matt Olson. He swings and fouls one off. Olson. Here's the 0 2. And that one hammered. That's back. And that ball is gone. Matt Olson goes deep. And they tack on to their lead. It's 2 0. Back to back jacks. And this club is fired up right now, dude. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Two outs, nobody on. Here's Austin Riley. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Austin Riley. Rolled over to third. Sends it to first, and that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And it's two. Back at Truist Park. Top of the second. Luke Voigt at the plate. Off for the Free back the to work. And there's the strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we and often hear and talk about two. umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon maybe a little bit more hitter-friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. And that'll fall for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Here's Machado. The third base, number and first two. offering is fouled and off. Machado. There's the swing and a miss. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Oh, and two as he waves at that one pitch swing and a miss struck him out and there's two down it's all interesting he's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single back-to-back exactly. -back strikeouts so the they haven't been able to move that runner up no get him into scoring position and try to have a better chance of scoring I tell you good job so far on the mound he just needs one more out Austin Aye. Nola in the box with two gone and it takes a look at a called strike Ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. Dives, but it falls, and now it looks like extra bases. The run scores all the way from first. It's 2-1, and he's in at third with an RBI triple. Well done, drives in the run. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. And that one fouled off. 
if you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys were chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. At the belt and finals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scored triple. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. And welcome back. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Leading up for the Braves, the designated hitter, Marcel Ozuna. A wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Laced into left. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting that great seven. results lately. That's a good field. sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out Beautiful. front, looked into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Row comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Dansby Swanson stands in, squares, and gets it down the left side. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something that he could handle. Up. Now the base is the loaded. Catcher. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Jordan. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Oh, now this one blasted deep to left. Way back there. On its way and out of here. Travis Darno hits one out. His 12th of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 6-1. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. Hits the grand slam to drive in four. Really good job at the play. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. The batter, number one, second baseman. Bounce to the right Albies. side. Albies. Whips it to first. And Albies is retired. Now batting. Now in for the Braves, Joe Rios. Rios. In the air, out towards right center. Two away. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. The right Here's Acuna now. Ronald Acuna. Junior. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. But a grand slam in the inning for the Braves. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. On to the third inning. Now the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. For the Padres. 
the left fielder, number 10. There's a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Profar gets a piece there. A wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Nope. And ball one. One ball, two strikes. And down on strikes. And now one away. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, now you back. get away with some of Second those. Base. More margin for error. Jake. You know, the fastball has become Rolling such a huge strikeout pitch hey. in the sport. I think a lot of it has all to do with all the count. attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through oh, the zone. Kicks and deals. Foul ball there. And he'll shoot. Right hey. through there. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Now, Trent Grisham gets it to first. That takes care of Grisham. And the inning is over. Padres down in order. The lead remains five. It's 6 1. Back here in Atlanta, here's Matt Olson. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ballgame. Towards first. He handles it himself. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. And now a flare into left. And it falls. So a man aboard now with one away. At the plate, Marcelo Zuna. His home and away splits there. Bunting for a hit. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Now back. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Denelson Lamet. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Two on with one out. Adam Duvall will hit next. And it's found away. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. So maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. That one lifted to left. He's got it. Two away now. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. The batter Dansby seven. Swanson Short next stop. up for the Braves. Dansby. Reached on an infield single his first time. Swanson. Swing and a bouncer. Machado collects it. The throw to first, and Swanson is set down. And that is. Back here at the ballpark, John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Fernando Tatis Jr. And first offering is fouled off. Tatis waits. Foul ball. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. You've got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. The Luke Voigt, the, the next up for the Padres. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The bit behind with that ball, swing. It's strike one. Out towards right center field. Acuna there. That puts the squeeze on that. And there are two down. 
Here's Manny Machado now. Manny Machado. Line drive, caught! Three up, three down for San Diego. They trail it, 6-1. Welcome back, bottom of the inning. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Dardo. The catcher, Travis Dardo. Lament back to work. Swing and it's popped straight up. Nola makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Now batting, second baseman. Ozzie. So the batting order turns over. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. And the righty deals. And that's through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back now long enough it. and no played right here. into the hands of the pitcher. Rio. Two outs, bases empty. Joe Rios next up for the Braves. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it's gone. He flexes his power with that swing. Home run number 75 on the year. It's 7-1. Eight straight games with a home run. Felt tie-in some great hitters at the plate. Griffey, Mattingly, Dale Long. This is just impressive. Does an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the fat part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing. Now back. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Acuna. Swing and a ball hammered Acuna. left field. That one's got a chance. Gone! Another homer. And they add a run. It's 8-1. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. And the now Matt Olsen up to hit. The first baseman. On the ground to first. Matt. He takes it on He's his own. Olsen. That ends the frame. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Still. Back at Truist Park. Will Myers now. Leading off for the puckle. The wide to kick the, the pitch. Right number five. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Now fly ball to right center. Acuna on the move to the alley. Falls it in for the out. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, now they're right at the top of the, the list. Catcher, Austin Nola. Nola hey. batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And the lefty with the 0-1. Late with the swing no there. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. pitch and a swing and a line drive at a right field makes the grab for the second out the batter, and the batter will be the shortstop ha Sung Kim he struck out swinging at his first at bat in there and it's 0-1 the wind of the pitch comes up empty that's strike two 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. Down quietly. It's still an eight one ball game. And welcome back. Down the third baseman, Austin Riley. Third baseman. Austin. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. 
Now he breaks his back. And he'll be safe at first. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. Now that. Well, an error like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if these guys are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. Rudder at second after the error. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Adam oh, Duvall at the plate. The left fielder, Adam Duvall. And first offering is fouled off. Riley over at second, one down. That one the other way. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. There's one. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. Ripped on a line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Back here in Atlanta. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And the batter now, Jerickson Profar. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. On the ground to the left. Throws to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The batter number nine. Now here is Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one, one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Acuna sizing this one up. Makes the grab. Two down. Now batter. The center fielder. Trent. Two Grisham. outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Trent Grisham. First pitch, just misses. And that one wrapped foul. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Next offering is foul back. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Braves eight and the Padres one. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Leader. Travis Dardo. The catcher. Lamet back to work. Strike one. Oh, one down. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Down Man, there are a lot of hits there. there. Ozzie. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. Mm -hmm. 
trying to move him over here. Voigt. Off balance feet. There's one. And they'll just get the one. Now batting. The center fielder. Joe Rio. And now the center fielder, Joe Rios. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Ground ball could be two. Lamont over to first. Albies dives back in. Albies at first, one gone. Left field. Profar on the move towards the line. Two down. The right fielder, number 13. Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. And here it comes. This to third. Boots it. Force it second, and they get the out. Stayed with it nicely. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. The pitch. Fernando to team. Right, there's the strike. Throwing well, at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, okay. 0 2 now. Late swing. Fouled off. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And it'll be Luke Voigt. Wait to stand in. Orlando Arcia comes on defensively now as he takes over as the new second base. Also into the ball game, Eddie Rosario. He'll be out in left field. Now playing left field. Number eight. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Bounced out to short, and there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Here's Manny Machado. First offering, and it just misses. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And that one is gone. Manny Machado leaves the yard. His seventh home run of the season. It's 8-3. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's it's a tremendous swing. Now, now time is called here. The right Pitching field. coach on his way out to the mound. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Max Freed will give way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Tyler Matson will take over here, and he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. And now Will Myers in there for strike one. And this is inside. That one not close. And yeah, that's ball two. Here comes a pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. 
Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting. And now it's Catching. Austin Nola. Austin Nola. That one's in there, 0 1. Next offering is foul back. 0 oh 2 now. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Manny Machado with the blast for the Padres. It's now 8 3. Tim Hill on a pitch out of the pen here. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. And now it's in left. The pitch. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. A towering home run. His 49th home run of the season. It's 9-3. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen. A tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him. But now he's got to find a way to reset. Here's the third baseman, Austin now, Riley. The third baseman, Austin Riley. And that one handled. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Now back. And now it's the Braves DH, hitter. Michael Harris. Entered the game on defense. So this is his first trip to the plate in this one. That one fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. And a base hit right there. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Could have let that pitch get a little deeper into the zone and tried to go the other way with it. Got it off the end a little bit, but found a hole up the middle. Yeah, first offering is fouled off. Ground ball right side could be two. Cronenworth to second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Braves get one on the big fly. It's now 9-3. We go to the eighth. So digging in now for San Diego. Ha-Sung Kim. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty stays alive. 0 and 2 now. Lifted in the air, right center field. Arcia under this one. One down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind. Vince rolling around out there. Randy or Rosarena now in the game as he comes in as a new right fielder. Profar gets a piece there. Randy, the pitch. Ground ball right side. Bare hand grab to first. Two up, two down. The batter. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Time called as the pitching coach makes a visit to the mound. One reliever still getting loose out the pen. Now here's Darren O'Day to take over for the Braves. Right hander throws from the side, really almost down under. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Down in order. Still way back. It's 
Back in Truist Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. The pitch. That one hit to right. Myers racing over to make the catch. Now batting. The catcher, Travis. Travis Darno, next up for the Braves. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Now back. Second Here's Orlando first. Arcia. Orlando. Arcia. Strike one. Yeah, you can see he just kind of stabbed at that one instead of just keeping his hands soft and absorbing the baseball with the bat. Slapped foul. Tarno over at first with one away. And he chases that one. And now two gone. He came out of his mechanics Sound there. Back. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other Yo. way. But that time, a little anxious. Now it's going to be Joe Rios. He's already homered here in this one. Into left center for a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. So two on with two away. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Hard hit left side. They take the force out. And that'll do it. Ninth inning coming up. Braves nine and the Padres three. And welcome back. Now at the plate, Trent Grisham. And here it comes. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Trent. Right into the plate. Little chopper rolls foul. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. At the belt and fire. Cut on and miss, struck him out, and there's one down. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out no, six bad. times That's in this series, and we've Fernando seen no adjustment Tatis out of him so far. Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. That's the third on the first. Padres with only one out remaining. Now that the first baseman, Luke Boyd. Luke Voigt will step to the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Ground ball, Austin Riley. On the first, ball game. And the Braves slug their way to a win in this one. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. 9-3, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah.